Okay, so this is a Sparrow's Challenge Lock. Don't know if you can see down there or not. Obviously, I have a key that works for it. Let me put the key in it all the way. So, you can see those pins are a bit on the hideous side. Now I need to put the key somewhere where I can't see it. Over there on the desk. Now I'm kind of torn between myself here. I want to do this, but I don't want to be able to look down that window. But I like to be able to you guys to look down the window, but you see how impossible that is, so I just covered up my hand and we'll go through it. Negative, not on file. Is there a number or a letter before any of the numbers? Not one. The last one is serrated. I believe that's to be picked. See, my hand's still covering it up, so I'm not cheating. And check in. There we go. So, even with ridiculously shaped pins, and the key is, it's moderate for what it is. I mean, it's not real high-low, high-low. It's just average. And the recording's been going on for two and a half minutes now. It's just, it doesn't matter what you put in these locks anymore. This tool is a game changer. <laughs> so, the more of the tools I can make... <laughs> Me personally, I'd like to see the Sergeant LA or the S22 slash S6 as a 5 and 6 pin. The RU45, RU46, obviously the Y1, the Y2, and the Corbin Russ one like the System 60 or the CO88. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later.